despite his fears, Marshall knows he must go out again. Race day is tomorrow, and he has to regain his confidence in both his machine and himself. Back in the saddle, and confidence is restored. Only an hour later, Roger is back to his normal self. I won't say I've had a lot of salads this week, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts of tomorrow's race are put aside, and the family spirit of the team is evident as they relax in an atmosphere of jokes and laughter. Oh, I was to be a film star. Yeah. Oh, no Say I look like David Essex. <laughs> come on, come on. What's that? What is it? Oh, just... Something to rest your balls on. Come on, is it true you've been in a film before? <laughs> you heard a silver dream racer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, that's where I got all my experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Things are not quite so relaxed in the Honda camp, however. On top of his handling problem, Dunlop now has a blown engine to contend with. There are only 13 hours to install, set up and test an untried replacement engine before the start of the race. This has not been the easiest of practices for Honda. Ron Haslam. The biggest problem we had when we come this year were, you know, there were three new bikes. They'd never been to the Isle of Man, and uh, we couldn't copy out from last year. So, you know, it was a bit hard at first. You know, the practice times were slow. We just, you know, gradually built up and up, you know, as we got sorted, because we couldn't come same as we did you know, last year. We couldn't copy anything. The Honda team work on into the night. The race fans make their own preparations. Manx Ale is a legend in its own right. The Formula One TT is the start of a week of real road racing. For the riders, race day comes all too soon. Everything learned in a week of preparation and practice will be put to the test. It's dry and sunny, and the lap times are going to be fast. Last, last year, I, got, I killed a cat on my elbow. Did you? Yeah, pull up, pull up. Why? Yeah, first pussy had to First pussy had to touch the I remembered everything but my socks. Ah, oh, the smell all right. They're only about three days old. Yeah. Roger, apart from forgetting your socks, is everything else uh, ready? Yeah. Well, I think I've got everything else in my bag. I'll just go and have a look and see if I've got my helmet now. Roger, there's ten minutes to go before the start. What are your feelings now? Oh, I'm pretty relaxed, really. I've just been joking with Mick. You know, I'll be all right once I get on the bike and get going. I'm in the right frame of mind. I think, really, people are thinking the weather's excellent for racing. It's just a wee bit too warm, I think. Or the flies melt at town and fatigue. But, you know, let's just see what happens. It's the same for everybody. Have you ever known it's not as this before over here? Never, ever. No, it's... The Isle of Man's about extremes, I think. It's either pouring it down or... Well, it's, it's always pouring it down, so this is quite different. Now it's, you know, the tension's building up, and, uh, you know, you think, gosh, you know, what am I doing, what, what am I doing here? Like, as soon as they drop the flag, you know, then you know what it's all about. Seconds after the start, the bikes plunge down Bray Hill. Flat out, they hit 160 miles an hour at the bottom. 